Hi, this is Miss D at D Special Things. This is my projects that I did for the Julie Nutting doll stamp collaboration for March. There is, let's see, I think about 19 of us that are collaborators and we play each month. It could be 24. I don't know. Somewhere around there. But anyway, um, Terry at Terry E01, Don at Dare to be Creative, and myself, we are actually collaborating with about 19 or plus, let's say that, women who are in love with these dolls. Now, the links will be in the bottom if you want to go. I think you should because these women are awesome. These crafters, let me say crafters. Uh, they are awesome. They love the Julie Nutting stamps. And um, last year, every month, Terry and I did one a month. And this year, we, you know, several people wanted to join in with us. So we just went ahead and did it as a collaboration. We do it one day out of the month. Um, usually the second Saturday. And the month. Now, if you want to play along with us, you can actually participate. You will be a participant. That means that, well, you can't commit to the 12 months now. So, it's what? Even this month you can play. And what you'll do is when we post our videos on that one Saturday, you'll see all the information that you need. You can just play along. Take your title or our title. Julie Nutting Doll Stamp Collaboration and whatever the month is and put it in your title. And that way you're playing right along with us and everyone can see your projects too. If you want them to follow all of the collaborators, um, you can easily just take, take the link that we have in one of our description box and place it in yours. So there you go. You can play, right? Okay, so... Um, what I'm doing this month is I bought some new product. Yeah, I got these dolls this month, okay, you guys? Now, I did both of these. And this month, our prompt is green and our St. Patrick's Day. If you didn't want to do St. Patrick's Day or St. Patty's or whatever you want to call it or, you know, I want to be Irish or uh, good luck, whatever. Yeah, you can just do anything but use the green color. Just use green in your project somewhere, okay? Um, yeah, so guess what, you guys? I got the cowboys girls. The cowboy girls. <laughs> I layered her. I made her real cute. And I did her too. And I didn't do the hats. But I don't know where the dolls are now, so I can't even... I don't know where I put them. Oh my gosh. Okay, just a little secret. I was cleaning my organ, reorganizing my room, and I think I overdid it because I don't know where anything is now. Um, but these are the two new dolls right here. And this one is a banner. And this is the one that I use. Now, you all remember her, right? That's Frankie. But remember when one year, I don't know which year it was. Julie Nutting came out with the stencil. I guess it didn't take off too hot because I used it one time and I haven't used it since. But that would be something else that you can use. Same idea. You just make banners. And they look like that. And you can make them however you want with Frankie. Okay? So I'm, I'm, I am going to have to show you this a little at a time because guess what it's too long because it is a banner so this is the front part of my banner let me make sure you can see it these are the first few ladies yes and I'll tell you what I did and then I'll go so far and then I'll slide the rest of it over so you get to see okay you can see the end of it and I use this pom-pom stuff that I got from Target I think it was it was a banner and I just took the girls and I lined them up next to each other so let me see how many 
I have on here. I'll slide her over some. Aren't they cute? And I just did it. She doesn't have green on, but she wanted to play alone too, so she can. And let's see. So here are the first three. Aren't they cute? And I just took like, I think these are the Target Dollar Spot. This, I don't know where it came from, but I had it in my stash or somewhere, yeah. And I'm going to keep moving over. And these are, <laughs> these little girls I always thought they were cute. Can move around any kind of way you want them to because you put the little brats in there and yeah their legs move <laughs> I know right <laughs> their arms move yes so I just lightly decorated them because our theme was green this month I just took some of the little girls and put them in green dresses so there you are I wish I could show you this whole thing but it's not working out is it <laughs> but yeah so let me do this let me just pull her over here I think they all came out so cute yeah so there are the girls and there is my project yeah so maybe what I'll do this time I think I know what I'm doing um, I'll take pictures and I think I could put them at the end of the video yeah, so that I could show you all of them. Okay, so there you are with the girls. I got something on a dress now. All of them have on red shoes except for her. She has on the little shooties. The little, um, yeah, boots. Yeah, so that is my banner. And it doesn't have, it only has this at the beginning. And I didn't put a name or anything on it because I'm thinking my granddaughter will take this so she can hang it somewhere in her room and then I'll put her name, her name on it. But there you are. That's the banner. And, and it's a cute little banner so you can do it any way that you want. And then I have another project and it is kind of getting, let's see. It's still drying, kind of, because I did a last-minute thing. But I don't know if you all have seen this. And I could hold it up like this. This is the Julie Nutting Coloring Book. And I'm going to try to show it to you. Some of the pages. I hope you can see it like that. Can you see it? Yeah, that's some of the pages. The next one is the one that I did. And I'll show it to you now. This is it. And I use some of that Nouveau Crystal drops on there, so it's kind of drying right now. But that is my coloring. I actually colored in a coloring book. Yes, that's one of my projects. I colored. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. Now this paper is, I use every kind, every medium that I had on this paper. I use Copics. I used... Nouveau crystals. I use Jane Davenport, um, her magic wands. I use the Prima watercolor confections. Um, I use everything on this page. I was just playing around with the paint, but I think I succeeded in, you know, making a pretty decent coloring page. But there you are. But the paper is so sturdy. It feels like cold press. It's very sturdy. And I don't know if I could tear this page out. Yep, I can. There you are. I tore it out. So there is my first coloring. And then I could show you the rest of the pages, right? Yeah, pretty much she just did some, I guess if you wanted to, you could do this yourself. Just take your dolls and add some background to it. 
and make you a coloring book. How cute are they? Yeah, but I like the I like that the paper is so pretty. It must be a real heavyweight cold pressed paper because I don't know if you can see how thick it is. It is super thick and there is my coloring page. And that's all I did because like I told you all, I lost my other dolls. I have no idea where they are. And um, so that I can't share with you. But I do have another project that I, I mean another item that I bought that was new of hers. I got her apron. Yes. And I want to, it's pretty long, it's right down here. I want to get these special things and border across there. I was I forgot to take it. Well, I didn't have time this week to drop it by the um, the cleaner so that I can get them to embroidery and border across here. So I'll do that. Ugh, I don't know this week, but I don't I don't think I want to wear it. I just want to hang it in my room. I have quite a few of them hanging around. And I think if I put these special things on it, I'll probably, and then put Miss D down here. Yeah, I might wear it then. I might actually use it. But yes, that's the Julie Nutting apron right there. And I thought it was super cute. And that's all I have for a project um, as far as the dolls. I hope you all are having fun. You all know this is uh, National Craft Month right so you all should be having a great time crafting all month long so that means that next month we'll have some more goodies and um, some more stuff to show you so you all just keep creating with your Julie Nutting dolls I think these dolls are so much fun to play with yeah um, I did have like I said if I find my dolls and my tag that I was making before I decided to clean up a little more than I needed to obviously I needed to I put them up somewhere I don't know where but yeah these are my projects that I made for this month and um, yeah go remember go check the other ladies out see what they came up with see what they did and that is my project for this month. Thanks for watching. Thank you all for stopping by. I hope you all will join us, um, participate. Hey, have fun with it because in a few months you're going to have all your Julie Nutting projects that you can put on display and sit around and look at and or either exchange with someone. Yeah, but there you go. Alright, you guys. So, Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.